Well, hello, my friends. This is Murphy with the Weekly Wonder. No, not the Weekly Wonder. The Moment of Wonder. This is written by Murphy, Moment of Wonder. And yeah, I'm doing a car video. Yes, I am. Because that's how life rolls sometimes. So I had a thought. Oh, first of all, you guys, please, if you're here, I want you to say live. Let me know that you're here. And also, if you're not here live, I also want to know that you're watching. Please type replay in the comments or a pithy comment if you prefer. But I really like to hear what people are um, are watching. So I don't know if you're here. I don't know who's listening if I don't have a comment from you guys. So please do that. Now, yesterday I talked a bit about books and I told you I just finished reading Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine, which was a book that I really enjoyed. I couldn't, one of those couldn't put it down things, right? When I started it, it had this cliched kind of beginning, or I felt like it was cliched. I'm like, okay. The beginning of it, it talks about how the um, mother of Eleanor Oliphant was a sociopath who tried to kill her. Um, and I'm like, oh geez, here we go. Sensationalist, I've seen this before. I know what this is. This is an author trying to grab us all and be like, oh, this is sensational. You can't give up on this. You can't not read this because everybody knows that those kind of people are totally fascinating. And I was like, yeah, yeah, whatever. But it was still written in a witty voice. Eleanor has a really witty voice. And it was very British witty, which is super fun, right? So... I'm like, oh, okay, well, I know this is going to be cliched and I'm not going to like it. But still, I like this, the, the voice, so I'm going to keep with it. So, all right. And then at some point, the, the train left the station and I was on board and I cared a lot about what was happening and I cared about Eleanor herself. And I had gotten past the sensationalist. When people do these things, when authors do these things, I don't like it because I can feel being manipulated. And it's a little bit like when you can feel the dentist doing something on your tooth. You're like, no, I don't like this. I need some more numbing agent here. Stop this. And even though it might be subtle and it's not that much, I don't want to feel like I'm being manipulated. I particularly don't like this about movies either. If I'm at a place in a movie and the music swells at a certain point, I'm like, yeah, it's working. Yes, I'm tearing up, but I don't like it. I don't like being manipulated. So if you're going to manipulate me, I don't want to know about it. It needs to be artfully done. Seduce my interest, right? So I'm already seeing this a mile away with Eleanor Oliphant and um, I don't like it. But it grew on me and I was very interested in her. And by the time I was done, I was carrying this thing around, reading my book, while I was making dinner kind of thing. So it really got me and I had to finish it in like a day, right? So now this is something that happens to me in my life. This is what I mean. This is a technique and I can recognize it when authors do it or other creative artists can do this in movies or, or music. It can feel manipulated and, and you're like, yeah, but then then at a certain point it clicks and it works. So I call this sneaking up on myself. When I do this, um, sneaking up on myself, kind of manipulating myself into doing something I know I need to do. So like going to the gym. I don't wanna do it, I don't like it, and I don't care sometimes, you know. It's like going to the gym, I, I kinda like going to the gym, but other things like that, other things that I might not wanna do, I will sort of be like, ugh. I don't want to do it. This is stupid. I know what this is going to be and I'm going to hate it. Like maybe um, an event or something where you're like, oh, I know everything that this is about. I know this. And yet I end up going and having a really good time and being glad that I went. So I can create these instances, which is why I bring up the gym. I can create these instances where I like hate a lot about what's going to happen and know I'm going to dread it. But then after a certain point, it clicks and I, and I get to the point where I, I like it and this is really what I want. So when I'm creating a good habit for myself or trying to get myself to do something that I've been dreading, taxes maybe, or uh, yeah, starting my next book, starting writing my next book, 
um, I have to sneak up on myself a little bit. And I have to kind of make myself, manipulate myself into doing something until it takes some momentum and I'm on my way. So my book, Eleanor Oliphant, at first I'm like, oh my gosh, this is so cliched. Why do we have to rely on these sensationalist um, hooks? And yet she did it artfully. She really was. The author's voice and the story really was something that I wanted to pursue. So it reminded me, yeah, sometimes you got to do that. And sometimes you got to set it up so that even though you know it's something that you have to uh, get into, but you'll like it once you get there, you can do this for yourself too. You can kind of sneak up on yourself knowing you're going to hate it, but then get to the point of momentum where you're achieving what it is you want to achieve. You can set this up for habits. You can set this up for starting or developing a relationship like a coworker that's being a pest. You're like, I don't want to deal with this person. They're, I know everything that they're about. But then if you actually make the effort and be open, it ends up being a lot better. So sneaking up on yourself, getting past the resistance of the um, what you what I think I already know, it can be a good thing. So that's what I was thinking about today, as I thought I would share in the car here. It's a little bit warm, <laughs> but I thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, and I'd love to hear how you guys do things to sneak up on yourselves and do something that you think at first you're not going to like and how maybe it's worked out for you. So anyway, that's what I got today. I would love to please put your comment. I would love to talk to you, continue this dialogue. So um, have a great Friday night. Have a great weekend, people. All right. Bye.